I welcome you to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the best apps of the week, so let's do it to it. Well, what do you know? It's the Cool Loser for show. Here on Cool Loser Tech, let's stop the show. Hey everybody, it's Mugwai. It's been a while since he did a guest appearance. The reason why you don't see him very much is because I'm no longer holding my phone. So usually when I'm holding my phone, he crawls down my arm and say hi to the people. Okay, so the best live wallpaper of the week, it is called a Neon Path. The colors are very beautiful, nothing to touch, but it just looks amazing. There's a few settings there you can change. You get the full version, you'll be able to change different colors and different actions and stuff. Go check it out. Alrighty, let's get on with the best apps of the week now. And now start it off with Flipboard. If you haven't heard of Flipboard, it's a really cool, unique social application that you see cover stories, gaming. You can scroll up and you will see Facebook, Twitter, sports, and you see the stuff change around. So you can log in with lots of different things. What do I want to check out? Let's go to my Twitter feeds and I click on my Twitter and you will see stuff about them if they have pictures. Scroll up and you see other tweets and tweets and I can see within this kind of stuff. So, you know, just move around and you'll be able to see stuff like this. If you want to read it more, click on that. And it'll actually take you to the little browser form where you can browse the page or whatever and look at it more. If you want to just go back, you can also swipe the page and let's go into the Facebook. And you can see there's people's status updates. I can re see them through here. You can actually comment and like people's stuff. So if I click on this photo, you see I get the photo. And zoom in. There's a like button, share, comment. There's the comments and stuff with people like. So it's really quick and intuitive. You can choose news feeds. As you can see, you got Flipboard. You got different things that you can read through. Something really cool. I think you guys will love it. Go try this out. Next up, we have Holo Launcher. Hopefully by now you guys understand that I am running Ice Cream Sandwich. As you can see, this is the stock layout of Ice Cream Sandwich. If you hit the app drawer, you will see you can go through your application. This, I'm using Apex Launcher which is only for ice cream sandwich. But those of you guys who want this kind of launcher, no problem. Hollow Launcher is the one that works for all other Android devices and it's for 2.2 and above, I believe. Hit this button and you will see that you can go through your applications through here. You see your recent stuff, your layout. You can actually go into settings and you see hide applications, manage application, launcher settings. If you want to you know, change more things on the Hollow Launcher, you'll be able to see different stuff to change there. What's also really cool about Holo Launcher is that you'll be able to create these little folders right here. You see, I got this little icon with the folders in there. I can grab it and rearrange where I want to put this and I set it there and it just rearranges there. If I want to add more, click on this, drag it on top of there and it just became inside there. So that's how you put folders away. So you got three little docs down here. If I want to put this down here, set it there. And now it's hidden and I gotta go clean your screen. So let's say I wanna put my camera down here. It'll always be there, even no matter what screen I'm in. Isn't that pretty cool? If you guys wanna launch like ice cream sandwich, this is the coolest one. Go try it out for yourself. Next up, we have SMS Enhancer. This application is for the people who keep their stock messengers. So I'm gonna send myself a text message real quick. Hi. Send it. Press home so that I'm not in the application and you will see a pop-up with my name, new message at 344. You can see a custom image in the background. Oh my gosh, you're a perfect cool loser. As you can see, close inbox or reply. So in any application that I'm in, I can have this pop-up appear. Even when my screen is locked, I can have it pop up. So let's do reply. And you get the little quick reply area and say, cool, send. And it'll go away and I continue what I was doing without even having to open my SMS messenger and it pops up again and that's how it's going to be. Now you can disable this if you don't want this. If you don't want these buttons there, you can disable it as well. So you can customize and lay out if you want phone numbers and different updates there. You can click on that stuff and you will see different things pop up. Uh, click on the inbox will actually take you. Let's go back into SMS Enhancer and you will see the configuration here. And enable it only to pop up when the screen is locked. Lots of settings in here for you to test out. It's an application that I think most users would love to use who are using stock messengers who don't have this pop-up feature. Take a look at this application and I think you will love it. Go test it out for yourself. Next up we have Dolphin Browser HD. Now Dolphin Browser has to be my absolute favorite browser out there because you know a lot of people use the stock one that comes with your phone but there's lots of other fancy browsers out there that might even work better, faster, and more efficient. Now I'm gonna do a lot of searching on my browser but when I do, I would like it to be a lot better than what it already is. So Dolphin Browser brings so many features. See, you can bring up tabs and click on right here. Check this out. If I scroll out of the screen and scroll in, I get my little bookmark shortcuts. Let's check out Amazon. Click it on that. 
you'll see that it goes right to Amazon. And I honestly have to tell you guys, it loads like three times faster than my stock browser. I don't know how they do it, but they coded it all right where it just makes perfect sense. It just works so good. And now it's scrolling from the right side in you will see that you got add-ons. This has so much to offer. You can go into the settings right here, go to more. When you go to more, you go to settings, go to user agent. So if you want it to look like, to make it look exactly how it is on your computer. If you want to browse the experience like an iPhone user, an iPad user, a custom, such an amazing application. I don't see why you wouldn't love it. Let's click on this. Android pictures. Android pictures. And then it goes right there and look how fast and simple it was. Now, if I don't want to speak right now, I can do gestures. Click on there and let's put H. If I had something for H, it would come up with an H. If I had a G, then it would open G, which is Google. I promise you, if you try Dolphin Browser, you're not going to go back to your stock. So go try it out for yourself. Here next, we have Google I.O. Now, this application is not going to be working just yet. You might be able to like you run through it and see some little features of it. But those of you guys who don't know what Google I.O. is, go look it up because you're going to be able to see all the releases of what Google has up their sleeves, the new technology, whatever it's going to be what Google wants and show and tell. But you know, if you want to see that stuff, we have to use our computer. But now you have an application where you can see the schedule of what's going to be coming up. You can see one day, 17 hours until a Google I.O. is going to start. Click on Explore, you will see different categories. So everything Google, go to Stream, you'll see people talking about stuff on what's going on here. It's going to be a really helpful application because those of you guys who want to keep track of what Google's going to release, you'll be able to stream what they're showing live, watch save videos to browse through it. It's going to be really cool, like I said. And once it starts running, you're going to be able to set yourself a preference. So whenever this uh, event's going to start, it'll tell you, hey, this is what's going to start. It's something cool to check out if you're interested. I can't wait to find out what Google's going to release. I hear lots of good stuff on it. Keep an ear out for what's to come by Google. Here next, we have on X. Onyx is an application that you must use on a browser. So you can't really edit things on here, which is kind of weird, but only Facebook users. When you log in on your browser, you can even use your browser on your phone. In any browser, you'll have to visit onyx.ms forward slash. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to visit your little section. And you can see that I made three rules only. And if you want to make new ones, click on recipes launch calendar when I arrive at work. As soon as you get to a location, it's gonna pop up with a notification saying, hey, this is what you need to do when you get to work. Show me the weather forecast every day at 8 a.m. So every morning, remind me to visit the gym if I have been there for three days. Show me horoscope, launch music when I am walking. Text my wife, I'm on my way when I leave work. And this will, if you click on it, it'll go into this little code, text my wife. If you click on different things here, you'll be able to check out the phone number, change the contact stuff to there, and it'll add automatically to your phone. Watch this. I'm going to click on it. Watch my notification. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the notification telling me what's going to happen. Let's bring it down. You see, it told me right there, and it brought me to the actual application. This is not the browser anymore. So this is what I'll see on the application. I want to edit stuff here. Click on there and you will see these are my tasks. I can delete or cancel. This might be really handy and I can't wait until a lot of people in other operating systems end up using this as a stock feature. Go try it out for yourself. Here next we have ClipSync. ClipSync is an application to integrate your phone with your computer or your tablet or anything else that has ClipSync installed for your phone to transfer different clips to whatever. But what is the use of ClipSync? Well, ClipSync is this. It's not running right now because I don't have my computer on. That's the only thing I have it synced to. My server IP address is right under here. And this will be turned on, telling you it's connected. But I'm just gonna hold on right here. And let's select something. I mean, you don't have to do it this way. You can just copy whatever you want it to do. But here's copy. Text copy to clipboard. So now it's copied. Whatever I copy on my phone, I can be using my computer and right click and paste. And what I copied here is going to go onto my computer exactly what I just copied. So that's how I would be able to transfer real quickly between different things. Instead of having to type in the address, what I have on my phone, this could be really useful. I don't know for exactly how many people, but if that sounds like something that you would like to do, go try it out for yourself. Here next, we have million moments. There's so many different kinds of people who like different things and I want to bring it all to your attention. As you can see, we got like a little bookshelf here. If you got lots of different content on here, it'll be on the shelf and you can see icons up here. So let's just open the album. It has a pretty cool effect to it. So if I want to go to my pictures, you hear sound effects and here's my foosball 
table scores. Cool loser, 47 wins, two losses. That's how many times I won a lose ball. I took a picture of it because I'm a champ. And you will see like a little calendar look that this is what happened during this time. And you can see different photos. Next page, next page, next page. And you will see that my foosball table. This has little slide gestures where it slides down. You get tabs that you can set for, put it back up. Now if you pull up, if you want to take a picture right now, take it. Click on this will give you actually more details on what albums and what uh, folders there are for you to click in and watch. Bring it down easily, bring it back up, and share photos that you have on here. If you like it, go try it out for yourself. And last but not least, we have ICU. Clicking on ICU and you will see ICU service, light is not running. Let's press start and you will see an icon up here. This application is for phones with front facing camera. So if you don't have that, it's not really gonna work for you. But this application is something that the Galaxy S3 is coming with, which is if you're not looking at your phone and you have your screen on, it detects your eyes to see if you're looking at the screen. If you're not looking at the screen, your phone's gonna shut off. It's gonna just turn your screen off like this. But this might work for you. Obviously, it's not gonna detect me because I'm behind my camera and I just wanted to bring it to your attention. And there you guys have it. These were the best apps of the week right off Google Play Store, brought to you by me, the Cool Loser. Quick shout out to myself. I got almost 22,000 subscribers. I love you guys all. And I've gotten over 5 million views and I've only been doing this for a year and a half. And I love it. I love being here for you guys, making Android so much enjoyable and awesome. And as always, keep rating, commenting, and subscribing. And I shall see you guys on Thursday for the best games of the week. So see you guys later. The cool loser is in the house.